uh, so today I decided to film a favorites video. It's going to be like a monthly favorites, so this will be for February. Um, I like per I personally like watching favorite videos, and so I hope you guys will too. So let's just get into it because I have a ton of stuff to show you. Uh, the first things first, um, my favorite moisturizer for the month is this. Um, it's a uh, certified pure organic Moroccan argan oil by Simo Oil. It's called Bushra. But yeah. Um, I got this off of eBay. It's a site on eBay. He was uh, kind enough to send it to me to try out. Because I've am been like trying to find an argan oil that's cheap. Because I could get the Josie Marin one, but... It's like super expensive to me because when I go to Morocco, this thing's like really cheap, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It retails for, I think, like $10.99 a bottle. So it's amazing price. Um, it's super authentic. It smells like argan oil and it works like argan oil. <laughs> and it is pure 100% organic argan oil and I love it. And yeah, I'll put the link down below where you can buy some for yourself. Mm. Um, customer service is amazing. The guy that owns it is really nice. His name's Simo, and yeah, it's just great to support a small business. So you don't, then you don't have to shell out the money for like the Josie Marin one, which is like 50 bucks for just a little bigger than that. So yeah. Um, second thing is I got these. These went on sale at Sephora, and uh, they were the Urban Decay 24/7 liners uh, they're super creamy and pigmented and I just been loving them lately so yeah I got f like five of them there's like a black one a bronze one a gray one a purple and like this teal one uh, next thing is um, a lot of you guys ask me like what how I clean my brushes I use baby shampoo um, that's what I used to use all the time. I still do like once a month, but I recently, uh, decided to invest, <laughs> when I say invest, because $15 for some brush cleanser is a lot of money to me, but yeah, I decided to go and buy <laughs> the MAC, uh, brush cleanser. It looks like this. It's, a uh, 7.9 fluid ounce, um, comes in a bottle like this, and, uh, I guess they expect you to pour it out so that you come back two days later because you just poured out all of it onto the paper towel, which is retarded. I mean, they, really, they should put it into a spray bottle. But, yeah. Um, so I just decided to buy my spray bottle from Walmart, and I put it in here, and I keep it in here, and I just spray the um, paper towel and swirl my brush around in it, and it cleans it, and it lasts me two months. Whereas if I were to pour it, it'd be down the drain in like a week. You know what I mean? But yeah, I've been loving that stuff. I spot clean all the time, like right after I do my makeup. So it's amazing. Um, I have really fine lines and wrinkles under my eyes. For my age, it's crazy, I know. But yeah, it's one of my flaws. But I've been using the Firming and Lifting Cream by Alginus lately. And it's I've been loving it. It's been working for me. Um... And it's amazing. And also, like, the argan oil. I put those two on before I go to sleep and I wake up. And they're not so bad. Uh, the next thing I've been loving is the Revlon Photo Ready Stick Concealer. Uh, this stuff's amazing. I think it's the perfect dupe for uh, the MAC Studio Finish concealer but it's not in a pot because I mean yeah you could some people like to use their finger I don't know I just like the the stick I thought of a stick instead of a pot for some reason I've been I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling soon so I always take my uh, Revlon photo ready concealer with me and I've been loving this lately I never I don't I'm not a big fan of translucent setting powders because I feel like them white like you they give you white cast or whatever, like you look ashy with them, but Nora from the Netherlands sent me this Catrice Cosmetics one, it's Prime and Fine Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and I'm in love with it. Um, it's very, very fine, and I don't know, it's just better than, all, like, the Makeup Forever one, I'm not too big of a fan, 
but this one's amazing. This reminds me of that new powder that came out by NARS. It's like a light reflecting powder. It reminds me of that. Like, that's how soft it is. But yeah, I've been loving it. So thanks, Nora. As for makeup application, the Beauty Blender has changed my life. It is worth every penny. No joke. Go get one if you don't have one. You can only buy it online, as far as I know. Unless you live in L.A., then they have these huge, like, makeup boutiques where you can get them. But, yeah. Definitely shell out your money for this, buddy. It's amazing. And it'll change your foundation life. Well, so will that Sigma brush that I did a review on, if you go look. If you don't want to pay that much for this, the brush pretty much does the same effect, which is awesome. So, yeah. What else have I been loving? I've been obsessed with um, a MAC Fix Plus, which I got the small one because I think the big one's like 30 bucks, and I'm like, yeah, no. Because I used to make my own out of like glycerin and tea tree oil, but then I just got lazy, and I just decided to buy one because I like this little sprayer. I will still make my own. I just wanted the little guy because you can um, refill it so you can make your own. Ugh. It unscrewed, I promise. So yeah, uh, that's mainly why I bought it is for the this. But I love Mac Fix Plus; it's amazing. Um, and yeah, it just like makes it so you're not ashy, and because it, it doesn't set your makeup, the Makeup Forever Make It Last Set and Makeup Spray is the star of the show today. This sets your makeup. It does everything. A makeup setting spray should. I don't know how I can preach that more, but this thing is amazing. And it's $14, except I got my $10 off coupon, so I got it for $4, and I was like, oh yeah. And I, I stocked up on this. I got two of them. So it's amazing. Um, except the only thing, it says uh, ensures smear, smudge, and budge proof makeup for up to 8 hours. That's a lie because I swear it's 24. Like, I wake up and my makeup is just perfect. And the next day, I just, because I wanted to, like, experiment. I know you're not supposed to sleep with your makeup on, but whatever, okay. But, yeah, um, it does everything Mac Fix Plus does, like, in the first, like, couple minutes. And then it sets, like, a hairspray. It's just amazing. It's like hairspray for your face. It's like face spray. I don't know. It's amazing. So lately I've been obsessed with, uh, I don't, BB creams. It's like the new thing for me because I like full coverage, but I don't know. I like an easier, BB cream is like an all-in-one kind of thing. So I'll, you don't, sometimes you don't have to use primer even though I still do. But yeah, it's better for us people traveling all the time. The best BB cream ever made is definitely by Dior. I got a little sample of it. I didn't buy it yet. I will because it's just amazing. And the thing will last you forever. Like the tube or whatever that it comes in. Two application of the, applications of this. And you have like such a flawless face of makeup. I wear it all, a lot. Um, so I don't know. If you see any of my pictures on Instagram. Sometimes I have it listed down below. In the comments. Like people ask me and I'll say Dior BB Cream. Because it's the bomb.com. But yeah. Definitely best BB cream ever. Um, another amazing thing is by Philosophy. It's their new, I think they just reformulated it. It's called uh, Miracle Worker. A moisturizing primer for your eyes. Um, it's what I use today so that it, my concealer doesn't crease so much. Ew. Ew. But yeah, it, it works wonders and it's amazing. And I definitely recommend this. And it comes. This is just a sample size that we got in gratis. But yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it for today. Um, let me know if you want me to do like all about foundation video and all about like blushes, my favorite blushes and stuff. But yeah, this is just what I've been loving for this month. Oh, I totally forgot one thing. I just need to say this last thing. I promise I'm done. And then it's the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara. It's amazing. I have it on today. And the brush looks like this. And it's $3. Definitely go get it. Um, but yeah. 
thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm like 15, over 15,000. It's crazy. I can't even fathom. I remember making a video and being like, I have 76 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Like, I just can't believe it. So, thank you so much. I have some exciting events coming up in the next two months. I'll be in uh, California for uh, the Fashion Fighting Famine fashion show. I'll put a link down below. If you're in California, you should definitely go to that. Um, I know Yaza Spaz is going. I know Amina, Amina from Amenican is going. Um, Winnie Dietwe will be there. A ton of us, you know, YouTube girls and fashion bloggers are going to be there. It's, so it's going to be an amazing event. Hijabista is going, and I can't wait to meet you, Zamina, and Anam. And, yeah, it's just going to be a ton of fun. I'll be vlogging the whole time, so... And then, hopefully, um, I'll be in Miami in April and Atlanta, Georgia, too. So, I have a ton of fun things coming up, and I'll be vlogging the whole time, so you guys get to see it. Um, sorry I haven't been able to respond to you guys in the comments. I'm on my phone, like, 99.9% .9 of the time. So, as you can see, my Instagram's blown up. But yeah, I can't respond to comments from my phone on YouTube. So if you want to, instead of leaving a comment on my video, why don't you just tweet me? Like, it's so much easier and you get a response, like, within that day. Um, so I'm sorry, because in the beginning I know I wanted, I really tried hard to make it so that I respond to everybody's comment. And now I look like the douchebag, um, popular makeup guru that doesn't respond to everybody and I'm not like that at all because like like if you message me on insta message or keek or um sometimes on instagram I'll know it's it's a little harder because sometimes I don't see the comments because I just like my feed just keeps going with like likes but yeah definitely tweet me or something because I will get back to you and yeah so thanks for watching my videos I'm sorry for rambling but I'll talk to you guys later. Salam